So I've been making YouTube videos on and off on different channels since basically like 2009 or 2010. So about like when I was like 10 or 11 years old is when I first started. And throughout the years, I've just noticed that there's so many different types of struggles that you're going to run into as being a YouTuber. And my number one struggle that I never thought would be a problem, you know, when I first started is time. I really don't have time to make YouTube videos anymore, which is really sad because I would say ever since I was young, making YouTube videos has been my actual main passion. Like, I mean, you know, for me, I went to high school, I went to college, I got my degree in exercise science, but honestly, even though it's kind of, you know, weird to admit, none of that was really like what I wanted to really do throughout my life. Like I didn't really want to, you know, even go to college or do something with a degree and all that. And even though the job I have right now, it's all right, you know, I, I make a decent amount of money. Um, I'm in a management level position, but it's more so about the fact that it was just never what I really wanted to do. What I always wanted to do was YouTube, and that was always something that I wanted to put all my time into, you know? And even though it's naive to think that, oh, you know, you can make it on YouTube, everyone can make it if you work hard enough, it's really not the case because really what it comes down to with YouTube is you just really got to hit that algorithm. Like, I know back in the day, especially when I first started watching YouTube videos or even making YouTube videos, People would always say, you know, do what you love, be consistent. But honestly, that does not work anymore. It's 2024. Uh, you're, when you make a video on YouTube, including this video, you're literally spinning into the Pacific Ocean that is YouTube in the sense that you're uploading a video on a website with billions, if not trillions of hours of content. So your video is going to have to stand out not only stand out to an audience, but stand out to an algorithm, something that is completely, you know, difficult to predict. And it's something that is just not going to be able to be something that you can hit every single time. Uh, and what I've realized and what I've kind of come into terms with throughout my YouTube journey, if you can call it that, is I don't really enjoy the type of content I make on this channel. Um, I know for some of you guys, maybe you guys would probably be surprised by that but uh yeah i'm not really super fond of the type of content that i make because it's just not really what i'm passionate about doing but the reason why i make the types of videos that i do on deep humor is because it's on trending topics topical topics and those are things that typically have gotten views for me i mean you know i'm lucky enough to have gotten twenty five thousand subscribers and you know some of that was through luck i mean you know i even made a video where i paid for a little bit of advertising, which I thought was funny because, you know, I got a bunch of subscribers, but not really a lot of viewership. And yeah, it's just kind of like a constant struggle of no time. Uh, and then obviously I can't really dedicate more time to it because, you know, that's what I didn't realize when I was a kid. When you become an adult and you're in your mid twenties like me, you got to have, you know, you got bills to pay. You have to make sure that you're able to take care of everything financially for your present and your future. And really sitting down and making YouTube videos is not going to be worth it for me unless I make some money from it, as, you know, greedy as that sounds. So yeah, I just wanted to upload a little bit of a video of my thoughts on YouTube and this channel in general. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.